Hello fellow YouTubers. Well, it's uh, two days after the switch over. Uh, I've got about a third of the fish, maybe, yeah, probably about a third of the fish back in the tank. The uh, plants came out of it, went right into the container with the fish. So any good bacteria they had on them was retained and then they were moved directly back into the tank after it had been dechlorinated and cleaned up. The filter was a fully cycled filter so I'm I'm banking on the fact that there's enough uh, beneficial bacteria still left between the plants and the filter and stuff to hold a third of the fish load. I'm going to still do uh, partial, like maybe 10% water changes every couple of days just to make sure that there's no ammonia or nitrite spikes that hurt the fish. But I think between the plants and the fact that I already had the cycled filter, I think that's going to keep things at, on a pretty even keel and I'll just add the fish slowly over the next couple of weeks. But uh, this is not completely finished. Um, this is a good start. This is a start of what I had initially. Uh, the one thing that is missing in this picture is the the wiggy uh, ripens. Um, I got to looking at it and it had so much algae on it and it was just really didn't look all that healthy. And knowing that I was going to get some new plants to put in here, um, I just uh, I decided not to add it back. Um, I'll probably get some down the road. Um, it might even be some growth off of uh, what's left of it that's laying in there. I mean, I'll find a place for this stuff. I'll trim it down real good and small and probably put it in one of my other tens. But uh, the one thing I did notice today is that all the plants, look at them, they all look happy. Look at them all reaching up towards the light. Very little algae. Everybody's looking spry and good. And there's a little algae on that leaf, but the grass is looking a lot nicer. Uh, I just added, I just found these in the little five gallon hospital tank I got. I forgot I'd put them in there. A couple of small narrow leaf crypts. So I just put them in a little while ago. There's the chain sword. Kabamba, isn't that looking good? That's looking sweet. Of course, as soon as I can get rid of some of this uh, wisteria up here, it's big clumps of wisteria. I wanted to leave it in there to soak up some of the nutrients, but. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, if anybody out there has some salvinia or frog bit that has like overtaken their tanks and they're just throwing away by the bucket, I will gladly play. <laughs> excuse me. Gladly pay for the shipping to to get a baggie of that stuff, but I'm only looking for salvinia or a frog bit. I want the nicer looking stuff. Um, trimmed up that Anubius. Had a bad a bunch of bad leaves on it. The uh, onion plant right here. There's a see if you can see it. If I come around this way, you see right down in there in between the two stems is a new shoot coming up. <laughs> now, for this area right in here and behind this log right back there next to that guy 
and over here there's three new groupings of plants that are going in I'm not going to tell you what yet but they're going to be awesome so this is where it stands I'm hoping this does the trick. The only thing I've dosed with, other than dechlorinator or prime, when doing water changes is the XL because I definitely want to keep any algae that might want to break out down. Not really using it for the CO2 aspect, I'm using it for the algae, su algae suppression aspect of it. <laughs> Okay, well, thanks for watching, and more to come. Stay tuned.